Hi, I'm Joe McDonald, and today I'd like to talk about the Olympus Focus Bracketing System. It is a great feature for doing macro photography, which is how we're going to deal with it today. But you can also use it for wide angle work with uh, landscapes or telephoto work with wildlife. And I'll show an example of that later on as well. Now, often when people are using a feature for the first time and they're all excited about doing so, they go out and they, they try to do that feature in, a, in an important in an important situation. Maybe there's a frog or a grasshopper and they're all excited about that. And they may do it wrong and then kind of give up on it. So I would recommend instead that you do what I'm going to do here. And that's kind of an experiment, a controlled experiment with my little toy Nile crocodile and my Komodo dragon and a ruler. And with that, I'll be able to show how angle of view, how working distance, the distance between the subject and your lens, and depth of field all play a role in this focus compositing. So what exactly is focus bracketing? Focus bracketing allows you to make a composite image that will have extended depth of field. And it does this one of two ways, depending on how you set your the, the uh, parameters for it, if you will, because there's the choice of having the camera do it automatically when you have the, the composite on, on, and in that, the camera will, well, I'll explain that one first, you first focus on a point. The camera, after taking that first shot, will move to the furthest forward point of its focus composite, shoot a series of frames, jump from the middle one because that's already been taken and continue with the frames until it gets to the last shot and then with the camera software it will put that together into a JPEG image that is the composite. It's a great feature and I use it all the time. The other way is if you have that feature off the camera will take the series but you have to put it together either with Helicone Focus or Zerene Stacker or Photoshop or some other software. And then how it works is this. At your focusing point, the camera then shoots a series of frames from that point backwards. Not forward and backwards, but just backwards. And then at the end of the series, you have to put it together. The beauty of that, though, is you don't have to worry about where you've started your series because you could start it right at the nose and it would stack backwards. And I really wish that Olympus in a future upgrade on their software would allow that for the automatic feature. And there's no question then where your focus starts and the fact that you would have the nose of that Nile crocodile in focus and your focus differential, which we'll define momentarily, covers that area. When you have it on the auto feature, where it makes the composite, you have 15 frames. Seven in front of the point where you focused, and seven behind. When you have it on the manual, where you would put it together with Helicone Focus, or Zerene Stacker, or Photoshop, you have 99 frames that would start at the front, tip of the nose, and continue back as far as your focus differential takes you. That's with the M1X or the Mark II. And with the Mark III, you have 999 frames that would go back from that point. You'd be there all day putting the darn thing together, but the option is there for you, if you will. So let's actually talk about the menu and how you, you will set up for this focus stacking or focus bracketing. And you'll notice I have a camera over my shoulder that's aimed right at the LCD monitor, so you'll be able to see exactly what's going on. So first thing I'm going to do is press my menu button. Right now I'm on camera one. I'm going to toggle down to camera two, and you'll see there that bracketing is the top one on the menu. Now right now it's on off, but if I press the OK button, I'm now on on for bracketing, and I have a whole series of choices here. Now I'm going to toggle down 
to bracket. Right now it says on, could have said off, no big deal. And now I have focus stacking off and I have the set number of frames as 99. And this, with it being off, I'd have to put this together myself. Well, I'm going to put it on on and now the set number of shots maxes out at 15. So we're going to keep the first one finished, focus stacking. Set number of shots though, let's toggle down. I have a choice of all the way down to three, and three would be the middle one, the middle one where I focused, and then one in front and one in back. Or I can go up to 15 frames. Let's go for 15 right now. And then I have a focus differential. And this is the gap between each shot. Now, you get a clue here, wide, where it would be jumps in the, the focus, or very, very, very narrow. And you have your choice, and we'll, we'll define why in a few minutes. So let's just go back to wide here. And then we have a charge time. If you were using flash, you could set this for whatever length of time you needed to recycle for each shot. You wouldn't necessarily want to have that down at one second or less if your uh, a lot of energy is being expended and your flash is recycling very, very slowly. But once we have it finished, I'm going to hit OK and OK and OK and OK. And notice that bracketing is still on. Sometimes, if for whatever reason I, I hit the menu button and go back, the bracketing may actually say it's off. And when I go to shoot, I'll just get one frame. You know, what is the world going on here? And I'll look and I'll see the bracketing is turned off. So make sure that that is turned on. And then when it is, you're ready to go. All you'll need to do is fire. Camera will shoot its first shot and in automatic, hop to the front and then go back and shoot each shot in series until you have your three or five or 15 shots finished.